Good morning, Technology Reviewed here. Every week giving you different technology reviews of products you might be interested in buying or gifts and things like that. So this is the Dolce Gusto coffee machine. Now this one you can pick up on Amazon for around about 60 to 100 pounds. There's various different Dolce Gusto models available. This is the one which I'm showing in red, which I'll link in the description. So these things take the slightly larger coffee pods. You can get three or four different types of machines that all use slightly different coffee pods, at least in the UK. So I don't know whether it's a good thing that this takes the slightly larger coffee pods. Um, they come in uh, boxes of about ooh, something like 10 or 12, about three to four pounds per box. So it works out, you know, 40p to 60p a cup. It's considerably cheaper than Starbucks and they're sort of not too bad. So looking at the different flavors they do, there's only one thing that I wish Nescafe would do and that's bring out some more special ranges from time to time. So, you know, ones with, uh, I don't know, some kind of different cappuccinos or different coffee drinks uh, because the range hasn't changed in ages. So every time I go to Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, wherever, I'm looking around and it's the same ones all the time. So I've tried all of these. I kind of wish they'd done something a bit different. Anyway, let's have a look at the machine. So first thing, to give you an idea of how long you're going to need to wait before you can use it, I'm going to push the on button there and you can see it's now flashing. The little LED will flash away there. Now it normally takes about 30 seconds to a minute for it to come on. And don't don't worry if you forget and leave it on because it won't stay on all day. After a few minutes, it'll just go off by itself anyway. And then you lift this little flap here and pull out this unit here. Now in this case, I'm going to make a cappuccino, which has the milk one on the left. Now it's powdered milk, but it, it seems to make a really nice drink. And uh, here's the skinny light cappuccino one here. So it doesn't really matter what order you put it in. I mostly put the milk in first, I think. So you pop that in there and then pull the lid down. Now in just that time that's taken me to, to pretty much describe a few bits, the light has gone green, so it's ready to use. Now this is how much coffee you want here. So I'm gonna put it on level four because we remember we need to put this pod in afterwards as well um, to do the coffee part. So. I think that should make a pretty full cup of that size. So it's now making the drink. It's not too noisy. Uh, it's pretty quiet, really. I'm not going to upset anyone with the noise, I don't think. Uh, looking around the back of the device, you've got the water tank. Now, there's only one thing I would say with this machine is that the water tank isn't actually that big. So you get about two drinks, two big mugs out of this water tank, and then you'll need to refill it. And I'll show you how you take that off and put that on in a second. So some of the pods you can get, you can get a uh, grande coffee one, you can get cappuccino ice ones, which is a cold one, because you'll notice on this little knob here, you can choose cold as well. So you can get some ice out, you can make that. There's a lungo. Uh, there's a hot chocolate and a chai. I thought that was hot chocolate from the colour. I think I've got hot chocolate somewhere. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. So it's there's the chai tea one there. I think what I might do at some point is get one of those metal stands where you put all the different ones in and try and sort them. Because just putting them in a plastic fruit dish like this means you have to fish through and. <laughs> try and find the matching pairs, uh, which is not ideal. So then you lift this little flap here, slide this out. I'll pop that in the sink for now for a second. Uh, and then you put the other part in and pop that in, close it up and do the, the same with the little pushing to the right there. Do be careful when you take the hot pods out because they drip hot water. So what you want to do is slide that out and then pop, tip it into a bin whilst it's still in there. Don't try and get it out with your fingers because if you squeeze, you'll squirt boiling water out. Just a little tip there. So you can see because I've used a glass cup that uh, it's actually quite nicely 
separating the layers there, which makes it look quite pretty. And really, you know, back in the, back in the days before these coffee pod machines were so popular, you'd buy little sachets like this one of Nescafe toffee nuts or skinny latte. My, in my opinion, these are about the same quality as these. So if you like these, you could get yourself one of these and then you've got a range of different pods for convenience to be able to create uh, and use. I suppose the only other thing maybe is it's a bit wasteful all this plastics. Um, I think you can recycle these so I guess that's a, a, a good point that they're recyclable. Although I haven't actually checked that and I don't recycle them so I should look into that. Okay so it automatically clicks off as you can see there once, uh, once the drink is made and you'll get used to this slider and where to put it for your different size of cups and there it is. Uh, there's a nice drip tray at the bottom there, so as I've taken that out, you, so you can see that there's still uh, some drips coming from the machine, so definitely necessary to empty that from time to time. And let's just uh, finally spin the uh, machine round so you can have a look at the water tank. And uh, roughly 50% of the water has gone, so why couldn't they have made this so that you could get three or four drinks out of it? I think I'd have accepted a slightly bigger machine to actually have a bigger water tank. So that's the only thing with that, that it's, uh, the water tank isn't very big. Um, so that's it. I uh, would turn the machine off and don't do what I always do, which is forget to take the old pod out and then find it in there a couple of days later, which is not very nice. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that review of the Dolce Gusto coffee pod machine. And please do subscribe and comment and I'll see you on the next video.